Hey kids, it's JJ. Uh, this is the little bit of a flight test FPV footage and my thoughts, final thoughts on um, the Emacs Baby Hawk. I've had it for a couple days now, flown it around, uh, had some issues, some of them were my own. Um, I, eh, I think I might be the only person on the internet that's not impressed with this thing. Uh, here, here's where we'll start. One. It has no beeper. It doesn't come with a beeper. So you have to put on a beeper. No big deal. But the problem is you have to pull out the flight control board, flip it upside down, solder it to two pads, get the beeper to work. Fair enough. Uh, did that. There's no OSD, which I think is just unreal. Um, it's Everything's got OSD anymore. Um, I do like that the camera's a 25 milliwatt slash 200 milliwatt switchable, which it does have pretty decent reception, transmission, if you will. Um, my receiver fit on top of the board okay. Uh, I did break the prop guard. Where'd I break it? So I thought I broke it. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, right there. Um, hitting an apple tree and not hitting it very hard. So, yeah, which is fine. You know, it's a prop guard. Who cares? Um, the props that they give you with these things, uh, where are they? These dudes are terrible. May, I didn't try the spare set they gave me. Maybe they're fine, but the set that came on the bird itself, absolutely horrific. They had so much vibration that just jello, like you can't believe, so much actually that it made the quad fly like crap. So I ended up putting on gem fans. These actually work really nice for this. These are 2035 gem fans. Um, I really like these props. They don't break very easily. Uh, they do not fit the screw holes, but if you just put them on and press them really hard, uh, they go on great and they don't slip. And you can grab the motor and kind of twist them to pull them off if you need to. I have I had them on and off a couple times, so it's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, these props way better. As soon as I put them on, no jello, no issues. The other issue I had, maybe some people might have this, when you pull that flight controller out to flip it over to solder your beeper on, Mine was just barely touching the frame inside and it was getting this twitching oscillation when I hovered. It would cock to the right, it would go in yaw and just by itself, it would put it in angle mode. I should have taken some video of it and I'm like, what in the hell is this? I could not figure out because I've never had that happen before. I don't know if this frame is just, uh, has a lot of vibration in it or what, but uh, I, so I took it all apart again. Uh, I surmounted the, flight controller and I did get that to go away. Here's the other problem that I think is a little stupid. These 6 amp ES, bullet ESCs that are in here, which seem nice, um, run D-Shot out of the box. But you cannot just enable D-Shot on this. I'll leave a link in the description to a web page that shows you how to um, you have to move a wire. Motor 4, if you guys enable, if you update your beta flight on here and you enable your D-Shot uh, you actually, Motor 4 will not spin. And if I remember right, that was a uh, SP, was it the SP Racing F3 Evo, the larger board had that problem. I can't remember if that's right, don't quote me on that. But, so you actually have to move the signal wire over to here to the third hole down on the right hand side of the board. Then you have to remap your motors in Betaflight CLI and then enable D-Shot 600 to get the D-Shot to work, which I did. So I took it apart again. I've had this thing apart like, set, like six times before I even flew the damn thing. I don't understand why Emacs, if they're using um, ESCs that support D-Shot, why aren't you just setting it up from the factory like that? Eh, I don't, I don't get it. Um, so you have to add the beeper, you have to modify it to get D-Shot to work. The props are a complete bag of ass, throw them away, they suck. Um, now, after I finally got it going, uh, I'm not impressed. I don't know why everybody thinks this thing's just the most amazing quad out there. It, it flies okay. I mean, it flies well. I, I tweak the PIDs, and I'll put those in the description, too. Um, yeah, on 2S, kind of boring. I, I, and I was using, um, what are those? I'm using ADC 2S 500, 500 milliamp, and it was like a nice little yard flyer. You couldn't come out of a steep dive full throttle and acro and recover safely. As you saw, I crashed it quite a few times. In the, It is resilient. I give it that. No, I have not broken the frame on it, and I haven't broken the camera housing on it, and everything's all well and good. 
Um, the motors are, you know, they're okay. Uh, 2S was really sedated. I wasn't overly impressed. So I said, hang it. I stuck a 3S in there. And uh, what is what did I put in that thing? I put a 550 70C 3S in there with the four-bladed props. Then she moved, and that was a whole lot more fun. Uh, after I flew a battery out or crashed, whatever I did, um, the motors were not hot. The ESCs, I don't know if they were or not. They're vented pretty well in there. Uh, and it punched out and flew fine. And you'll see in the first video or so, there might be two videos. Um, the first one is going to be 2S, and the second one's 3S. You can tell the difference right out of the, right out of the bat. Uh, in this thing's defense, it was windy today. A little bit too windy for a micro, I think. Um, so, and I seem to be attracting trees today. I don't know what my problem is, but um, I'll blame me, not the quad. It handles fine uh, with a 3S. I thought it was fun. Uh, really... This guy, my Egg 100 that I built, kills it. And this, which actually is an awesome Q95 uh, in a different body, smokes it. I would race any day somebody that had one of these versus one of these. Um, it's not a bad bird, but to really utilize its potential, the D-shot and to put a beeper on there, and you still don't have OSD, you'd have to put in a whole different board and cut this yellow wire right here and splice it out to get your OSD on here which I'm definitely considering doing. Um, eh, you know, you really have to do a lot of user modifications to get this thing to work with all its features properly. Um, I did change the PIDs a little bit. They're okay. Uh, for a hundred bucks, I think you can spend your money better. I mean, the awesome Q95 was, what, 110 bucks, the PNP or something like that. And I believe I built this guy for around a hundred bucks. This thing's got an F4 processor, 10 amp ESC all in one. Um, everything on this thing's kick ass, so it was probably about 120. But spend the extra 20 bucks. These are okay. Um, I'm not in love with it, honestly. I mean, it's it's cool. I'll fly it. Um, probably only with a 3s, but yeah, that's just my bit. I did not change ESCs or motors or anything. I just stuck a friggin' 3s on there. I thought, hey, if it goes up in flames, rock and roll. If not, that's fine. Uh, and it didn't. It performed just fine. So don't be afraid of that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's okay. So here's my bad flight footage and uh, make your own choice decision. If you have any questions, give me a call on YouTube. <laughs> Bye.